Have you ever wondered how quasars and supermassive black holes influence the formation and evolution of galaxies? The James Webb Space Telescope again has brought us closer to understanding this process by capturing a stunning event in the distant universe, a quasar and two massive satellite galaxies in a dynamic interaction. This observation provides more than just a view into the vast expanse of space. It offers crucial insights into the fundamental processes that drive galaxy formation and evolution. In this video, we'll explore how these significant interactions help us uncover some of the universe's most profound mysteries. The James Webb Space Telescope has brought us one of the most dramatic scenes unfolding in the cosmos, which is the PJ30821 system. This system consists of a central quasar, which is a source of immense power and light. It consists also of a supermassive black hole feeding voraciously on surrounding material, emitting powerful radiation, and two accompanying galaxies. The interaction between these bodies provides key insights into how galaxies merge, grow, and evolve. Through the near-infrared spectrograph instrument, Webb captured detailed maps of emissions from hydrogen and oxygen. These emissions are not merely bright colors on a cosmic canvas, they reveal the physical conditions within the galaxies, such as areas of star formation and the influence of the quasar's powerful radiation. Galactic mergers, such as those observed in this newly discovered system, play a crucial role in the universe. They trigger starbursts, fuel central black holes, and redistribute cosmic material across vast distances. Observing these processes provides clues about the life cycle of galaxies from their chaotic births and turbulent youths to their eventual maturity. The data from this system challenge previous understandings of how quickly galaxies can grow and evolve. This system also displays a level of metallicity, which is the presence of elements heavier than hydrogen and helium. This suggests a mature galaxy that is unexpected for such a distant and early point in the universe's history. Webb's observation of PJ30821 demonstrates that its technology is not just enhancing our view of the universe, but fundamentally transforming it. Central to these observations is Webb's near-infrared spectrograph, which facilitates detailed spectroscopic studies over an extensive field of view. This instrument enables scientists to dissect the light from celestial objects into its component colors, revealing the chemical composition, temperatures, and motions within galaxies far beyond our own. The integral field spectroscopy technique used by NIRSPEC captures a comprehensive 3D view of astronomical objects, ensuring that each pixel of the captured image has its own spectrum. This method paints a detailed picture of the observed galaxies, offering insights into their physical conditions and processes at an unprecedented scale. The detailed spectral data obtained through NIRSPEC analyze the hydrogen and oxygen emission lines in this system, allowing astronomers to discern the physical conditions within the galaxies. These lines reveal areas of active star formation and regions impacted by the quasar's intense energy output. Additionally, the spectrum exposes the gas velocities, indicating whether material is being drawn into the black hole or ejected into intergalactic space. Each observation can either reinforce our current understanding or challenge the prevailing models, prompting revisions and refinements in our theories. As we see and know, the implications of Webb's capabilities extend far beyond this system. As astronomers continue to utilize this powerful telescope, they will uncover more about the early universe, exploring the very edges of the observable cosmos. The observations from the PJ30821 system by Webb significantly challenge our existing models of galaxy formation. Traditionally, scientists believed that galaxies in the early universe grew slowly and were chemically undeveloped for billions of years. However, the high levels of metallicity and advanced photoionization conditions observed in this system suggest that galaxies can mature much faster and become chemically complex sooner than previously thought. These insights compel astronomers to reconsider and refine the timelines and processes involved in galaxy evolution. 
One of the most groundbreaking aspects of this discovery is its implications for understanding supermassive black hole growth. The data indicate that the central Quasar's black hole, already amassing around 2 billion solar masses, significantly influences its surrounding galaxies. This suggests that such black holes are not just byproducts of galaxy formation, but active agents in shaping their host galaxies. The enrichment of metals in the surrounding galactic material likely results from the intense energy and matter outflows from these black holes, which catalyze complex chemical environments. Further analysis of photoionization conditions reveals varying degrees of metallicity across different regions of this system. This variation highlights the intricate interplay between the quasar's radiation output and the surrounding galaxy's evolutionary states. Regions closer to the quasar show higher metallicity and more intense photoionization effects, suggesting that the quasar's activity not only triggers but accelerates star formation and chemical enrichment processes. The observations of this system also have profound implications for the field of astrophysics, expanding our understanding of galactic environments and the dynamics of black holes within them. By offering a clearer picture of how black holes and galaxies interact and evolve together, these findings pave the way for new theories and models that more accurately reflect the complexities observed in the distant universe. This research enriches our overall understanding of cosmic history, highlighting the dynamic and interconnected nature of celestial phenomena. Thank you for joining me on this fascinating journey through space and time. Remember to like, subscribe, and click the bell icon. Share your thoughts and questions in the comments below. We'd love to hear what you think.